this is Bruce and <coughs> excuse me welcome to my shop on this uh, wonderful uh, Australia day um, we're uh, looking here at a at a BS2 indexing indexable um, head and um, right for the dividing head which has um, all the options to be able to um, to do simple to do uh, quick ones through every 15 degrees a little hole a little hole here and you can turn that turn the head around and every 15 degrees you can lock that in um, and it's also marked out in the degrees then you've got the the compound arrangement you've got the simple uh, simple indexing by using um, the indexing plates and you've got a few of those um, and then we come to the more complex type which is a gear driven the car the, the the shaft arrangements not on here at the minute but um, there's two ways that can work one that one way that uh, that that shaft arrangement then comes out connects into this gear um, and then these these banjos banjos can be bolted on and uh, through the correct gearing through you've got two you've got the ability here of having two banjos and by fitting this shaft in in the um, in the back there and on the Morse taper and fitting that in uh, you can put another gear on here so then you can drive uh, that gear arrangement so it goes through this gear this is disconnected from the direct drive and it drives through the secondary gear through the get the compound gearing arrangement through that shaft and turns the head um, and when you do when you do that you then um, then you have to bring into play this uh, this locking mechanism that you've got here which locks into one of the holes on the plate um, so in some cases that is pressed in it's got a little scrub screw here it's pressed in and released and then then you can turn the whole this whole plate you can turn it around um, to get your compound gearing arrangements so uh, this is for Ray Goff um, this is uh, he has he has got a Cincinnati which is different to this but works on the same principles and the other uh, range which which this unit can do is we can gear it down and put a gear on the end of the the milling table so that whole arrangement can be set up here and a gear fitted onto the milling table here and then then that the spiral you can make spiral um, uh, gearing cut spiral gears by having this turning and driving the head of the um, of the dividing head at the same time as you're advancing with the table um, so that's that's what that, um, that that BS2 can do here we've got a BS0 a little fella set up on the um, on the machine uh, on the big machine and this is I've just been using direct indexing with this on the 15 degrees as I was doing something four turns or whatever um, I, I, I tend when I'm storing these uh, to take off anything that's fragile that could be knocked about so if I don't need it I take it off and when I need it it's very quick to uh, hounds because they all get housed inside here and there's a BS1 inside as well we haven't got enough light there but there's a BS1 there so I've got the BS0, BS1 and the BS2 over there and that gives me the coverage um, for for indexing and uh, and then down in here I've got three indexing tables um, of three different sizes and the big one down the bottom is, uh, has been in a couple of movies that I made 